Let the games begin. The state is lifting the ban on school winter sports as of Monday. The governor says that decision is based on science, not political pressure. The numbers cited include the rate of positive tests under 5%, the lowest since mid-October. The number of hospital beds with COVID patients is also declining, now down to 6.6%. But there is still concern about the UK variant. The health department says there are 28 known cases in Washington and Wayne counties, and we all have to be on guard to stop the spread. Tonight, student athletes and their parents are thrilled about this decision, allowing winter sports to get back in action. Lawsuits in a Lansing rally pushed for the change in policy after the state previously banned contact sports through February 21st. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass live in Troy tonight with reaction to this new order. Brett. Hey, well, Dave, high school hockey games have not been taking place here at the Troy Sports Center due to that ban on the youth sports, youth contact sports, I should say. But starting on Monday, those athletes will be able to return to the ice, the court, or the mat. Let them play. It took a rally in Lansing, lawsuits, and online petitions for parents of young athletes to finally hear these words. Our numbers are now in a place where we can allow our kids to get back in the game with their coaches and teammates. The Department of Health and Human Services lifting the ban on contact sports two weeks earlier than planned. Parents of young athletes celebrating the news. Excited. You know what? The our voices have been heard. When asked, the governor said she made her decision based on declining cases, not because of the protest and lawsuits. But parents involved disagree. I think we made an impact. I know we made an impact. The announcement allows contact sports like basketball and hockey to resume on Monday as long as masks are worn. And if they can't be worn, then testing has to be done. They've been wearing masks. They've been getting dressed in the parking lot to follow rules. They've, I mean, they've adapted very well. And they're willing to do it. They just want to play. Christina Brazel's son, Zach, plays hockey for Bedford High School. Located near the Ohio border, he's watched as Ohio teams play games on the same ice that he and his teammates can't even scrimmage on. But with this announcement today, that won't happen again. Zach walked out of the door to go to practice just a few minutes ago, and he had the biggest smile on his face, and that's all you could ask as a mom. Whether it was declining cases or the nonstop pressure from athletes and parents, youth contact sports are back. And the athletes and parents say they'll do whatever it takes to keep it that way. I think, I think it's going to prove to a lot of the athletes that they used their voice and it was finally heard. Their perseverance paid off. Now, the lawyer representing that group, Let Them Play Michigan, did release a statement saying he will review that order and, if appropriate, move to dismiss the lawsuit. Reporting here in Troy, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Brett, thank you.